Hey folks, so um, this is going to be a little bit of a weird video because I'm not actually doing any mods. I'm basically just ruining something even more than it's already been ruined and in the process going to try and explain something. Uh, so basically what I want to talk about are different LCD types of technology. So the main kind of LCD and the kind that we're all probably most familiar with are just standard backlit LCDs. That's what's in a uh, DS light, that's what's in pretty much anything made after 2008. Um, so that's what's in your TV, that's what's in your computer monitor, etc., etc. How it works is there's a layer of liquid crystals. This, uh, this is actually a DS light screen and you can see uh, it's been taken apart so you can see through it, kind of. If I were to plug this in, assuming I started with a working screen, which I did not, but if I were to plug this in, you'd be able to see the actual image on the screen, but it'd be very dark because there's no light behind it, no light to uh, show you what's going on. Uh, so I am missing a few layers here. Oh, it's just stacked the wrong way. Um, so behind that layer of liquid crystals are another bunch of layers, uh, reflectors and refractors, and all sorts of fun stuff. If you ever take one apart, there's a lot of good stuff in there. So behind this, this is not the order they come in, just the order I have this stored. Uh, we have a, um, this actually looks like the bezel. I don't think that's supposed to go in there. Yeah, I think that's just a screen bezel. Oh wait, no, that's the reflector. So we have this mirror here, uh, and this layer that uh, light gets shined into from either the bottom or the top or one of the sides. In this case, it's from the bottom. Uh, and this distributes the light evenly behind the LCD. And then there's even more mirrors and reflectors. And uh, the end result basically allows you to see through this LCD with a light behind it, or in other words, a backlight. And this is what it'll look like when it's all said and done. Now, older LCDs, like that, it, which is in um, you know, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, even a Frontlit AGS-001, so on and so forth, those don't have lights inside them. They just have a reflector behind the screen. So it's something like ugh, this DMG screen, where there's no light built in, there's just a reflector on the back that reflects the natural light within the room. Uh, you, you can peel that reflector off and backlight it in most cases, but sometimes the reflector is built into the layers of the screen and you can't peel it off like, for example, a Game Boy Color, which leads me to my next type of LCD screen. Now this is not the type of LCD that came in the Game Boy Color, but it is a common backlight kit. This uses what's called a transflective LCD or a transflective backlit LCD. So it's kind of a hybrid of both types of technology where it does have that backlight and all those fancy reflecting layers, uh, but it also has a built-in, um, I, I, I don't really know how to describe it without calling it a transflector, but what it does is it allows light to pass through if there's light behind it, but if that light is off, it also allows light to bounce off the screen, kind of like this bad boy. So that's why you can turn the backlight off and still see the screen perfectly. But you know, if you're in a poorly lit room um, or a room that doesn't have any lights in it, you can go ahead and turn the backlight on and see a little bit better. Uh, this type of screen, really hard to get right and somewhat expensive compared to um, traditional backlit LCDs like in the DS Lite or basically what they're making now. And one of the main downsides is that the black levels, just they're, they're total garbage because um, when there's no light basically being, like when there's no image on the d screen to display, it's basically just reflecting that natural light. So you're getting light gray instead of black. Um, but, you know, it does give you the benefit of being able to use this in virtually any light. Now, the last one more type of LCD technology, there's tons, there's like OLED and whatnot, but I'm just 
talking about LCD for now. Um, again, the traditional reflective layer with no internal lighting and then a light over the front. That is called a front light. That is what the um, Game Boy Advance SPs originally came with. Now, I don't have one at my desk right now to show off because I wasn't thinking about it, but that's what these LCDs are. Um, I'll grab one that's not broken. Uh, you can see it's just the standard reflective screen. That's why it looks gray, not black. And then there is a panel in front of the LCD itself that ref that puts light onto the screen so it reflects off the back of the screen and into your eyes. And if you hold the screen at an angle like this, you can you can see the light being projected from the bottom and then refracting all the way up the diffuser panel to allow you to see that light. Um, hang on just a sec, let me go grab one. Right, so I just realized I was making my point so much more difficult without at least having a prop that I do have. But anyway, you could see this. Um, you can turn the light off. You can still see it perfectly fine. Turn the light on. You can see it better in poorly lit areas. Uh, but if you tilt it up, you notice you can see the light being refracted up. And you don't see that from any other angle. Not really, anyway, because all of the light is coming from down here at the bottom. Now, the reason I'm talking all about this is because I want to talk about the original DS console. Now, this is a DS fat that I have taken apart um, because it's broken and because it's what I have available for... Uh, for experimenting. Now it is mostly functional. Um, top screen is busted. Well, the screen itself isn't busted. It's it's this ribbon cable here. In certain positions, it works better than others. Um, but yeah, here is the screen on the original DS. Let me kill these lights here. And you can see down here, if I uh, can manage picking it up without disconnecting my power supply, which is not happening. Try without shorting it out. There we go. You can see my display has a few lines through it, but that that is that has more to do with the cheap, crappy displays in these consoles than the actual technology used. Uh, but you notice on the original DS, we can actually turn this light off. Now, if you take a look here, you can see the screen is still on. Uh, let me turn on a light here so it's a little bit easier to see. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not great. The effect works a lot better outside, but if we turn it back on, and just because this screen is harder to manipulate, I'm going to set it down. Come on. My... Uh, my battery terminals keep shorting on something. Okay, there we go. Nope. There we go. Now I got it. All right. So we can see the screen. The console's on. I'm going to kill these lights again so that it's easier to see with the light on. If we tilt it up, tilt it down, you don't see that same effect that we saw on the SP. You just see light coming from all of the corners relatively even, or all of the sides relatively even. That's because this LCD is not front lit. This LCD is back lit. Just like the Game Boy Color LCD. It has that transflective display in it. Now, a lot of people think these things are front lit because they look like garbage with the light off, and I'll agree. They do look like garbage with the light off. Now, let's compare that to my Game Boy Color here. I keep forgetting where the sensor is on this one. Now, the light off, which one is easier to see? Game Boy Color, right? That's because the Game Boy Color just has a better uh, transflective layer in it. Uh, that's, that's why these screens are so hard to get right. The transflector that they use is just expensive and doesn't work very well uh, when it's not done right. But, of course, it works perfectly fine with the backlight off, or on, rather. Now, the whole reason I'm talking about this is because I want to, I, I keep hearing people say, oh, well, the DS is frontlit, just look at it, it's been proven, blah, blah, blah. No, it's it's not frontlit. There's never been a frontlit DS. Maybe there were prototypes that were frontlit, but the actual models that were released to the public to purchase 
those are all backlit. Now let me pull this LCD out of here and let's take this apart. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see if there is a light behind the screen or in front of the screen. I'm just going to go ahead and actually, no, I think we can leave the digitizer on. All right. I need, I don't think a knife is the best tool, but it's what I have. So it'll work. So we're going to take this apart and find out once and for all, is it frontlit or is it backlit? I've been saying it's backlit because that's what it looks to me. I know that they do make such things as transflective LCDs. I've done quite a lot of research on this, but people still insist that they're frontlit. And there's really no evidence that I've found to present one way or the other that'll convince anyone who keeps arguing that point. Yes, I am butthurt about this, in case you're wondering. But hurt enough to make a video. All right, so we're just gonna bend the tabs on this metal shielding here. So we can try taking this thing apart. Now, if you wanna do this on your own to take a look, I highly recommend you don't use a perfectly good screen because they don't always go back together right. And if you touch anything, get your fingerprints on it, they're next to impossible to clean without damaging. All right, so there we go. That's the front shielding and the digitizer. The digitizer is a separate piece. You can replace it if yours is all scratched up like this one is, but I don't really care about this screen. Okay, so now that we have that off, you can see, well, hey, where's the light panel? It looks like that's just the LCD. And well, yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and plug it back in and check it out. Now we only need to plug in the light connector to get it to boot on an original DS, but I'll go ahead and plug in the data connector as well. Okay. Well, that's probably a bit high. Look at that. Now, my screen is a little bit worse off than it was before, but you can still see it just fine. You can see the LCD, the, the actual display is right up at the top. There's no light panel in front of it. If we press on it, we can even deform the uh, image, but don't believe me? Let's take it apart even further. Let's, let's find where the actual backlight is. All right, so we can continue taking this apart. Now we're going to take the metal back shielding off. This is usually where things get messy because this is usually what's holding all of the layers into the LCD. But like I said, I don't really care about this screen. If I broke it, I'll lose out on a testing screen, but it's all it ever was, the screen that I used for testing. And yes, I know a knife is not the best tool for this, but it'll get the job done. All we're doing is wedging it between the frame and trying to bend the tabs up. A spudger would be better. Now, things get messy. If you have gloves, this is the time to use them. Um, I have to be careful here because this ribbon cable is actually attached to the shielding. I could peel up this foam and then peel off the ribbon cable if I want, but that's gonna take longer than I think this video needs to be. And quite frankly, this video is already a little bit too long. Okay, so if we peel this up, 
you'll notice, hey, there's that reflector layer I was talking about, basically a mirror. And what is this? This looks like a light panel behind the screen. Let's check it out. Let me go ahead and plug this in and we'll, uh, we'll play with it. We'll see what we got here. So you'll have to forgive me. My hands are a little bit shaky today. But I think we can still get this done. All right. How this voltage got changed again, I will never know. There. That's good enough. Oh, power button's on this side, isn't it? There we go. Now you can see my screen looks a little bit funny, huh? But that's okay. That's okay. We'll work with that. So let me go ahead and flip it back over. Flip it up. And notice right here is the backlight. I'm trying not to touch this because I do want to put this back together. But there, backlight right behind the LCD. And if you look through, it's kind of hard to tell because the lighting and all. But if I cover that with my finger, maybe we can see a little bit better. You can see through the screen, you can see the display up at the top right where it says, I need to set up this DS before I can use it. The fingers are kind of in the way. This is a backlit screen. See how it's fully transparent? You can see through it because the light comes from behind the LCD. See? Backlit, not frontlit. All right. I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off before I, I completely ruin it because, like I said, I do want to put this back together. I do use this screen for testing. Um, but I just, I, it's a pet peeve of mine that people keep calling these machines frontlit. Just because they have garbage LCDs doesn't mean they're front lit. You can have a good looking front light, like on the Game Boy Advance SP, and you can have a bad looking backlight, like on the NDS. It's just how it is. So, thanks for bearing with me while I had my little rant, and um, see you next time, guys. Have a good night. Now, while I'm thinking about it, I, I, I don't think I should have ended the video there. I think we should take a look at a uncontested, this is definitely a frontlit screen, just for comparison. Uh, so I'm going to take apart, uh, no, not this one. Let's take apart the broken one, yeah? Uh, so I have here a AGS-001 motherboard and an AGS-001 screen that we can all agree is frontlit. So let me drop battery in here. And I'll flip this bad boy on. There we go. Hard to tell, but you can see the light's on. Uh, the screen is broken. It got smashed from the rear here. I was just taking it apart because, you know, it's fun. Uh, but anyway, might as well do it on the video here. And because of how this is, I don't even have to... Uh, I, I can do it while it's on because we don't even have to take the LCD apart that that much. Uh, so as far as removing this lens goes, as far as how to remove this lens, um, because the OEM screen lenses are plastic, you could just bend it up. I like to start with AGS 001s in the bottom corner here because, and you definitely want to bend the lens as much as possible because the front light panel otherwise tends to stick to the lens. And if you wandered over here, trying to figure out how to remove the lens, and you're not actually interested in this debate, um, keep in mind that if you touch this panel with your bare fingers, you're going to ruin it. Uh, they're nearly impossible to clean without damaging them further. All right. 
just like that. Boom. All right, now you can see the screen. See how much light is just being projected onto my hand here. Not doing the same thing from the other angles, not as much anyway. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take this apart. Now, I actually probably should have done this the, the wrong way, just because that would have been easier. But if we peel this adhesive back, oh no, that's gonna take too long. I guess let's go ahead and take it apart. So unlike most screens, this just has a plastic frame around it, but that's because this frame is holding the light on to the LCD. Which actually makes it a little bit more difficult to remove. We didn't even have to peel that lens off. that separated you can see the light is on the right here and then the LCD is right here on the left so that's how the front light panels work let me uh, let me pop a game into this thing so you can at least see something on the screen because the screen does kind of work Maybe. Okay, maybe the screen doesn't work at all. I thought it did. I was mistaken on that. Thought maybe you'd see something in the corner. But this thing is too far gone. Oh, and the LC the ribbon is damaged. I didn't notice that. I mean, how could you? All of the screen is dead. So you can see, right here, there's a little bit of display on the screen. If we flip that up, you can still see that front lit. Notice how the light is in front of the screen. That's why they call it front lit. Whereas on the DS, the light was behind the screen, backlit. All right, thanks for coming to my TED Talk.